How's it going, you guys? I figured I'd do a really quick video on a man named Vince Garanda. So Vince Garanda robbed my house the other day. Nah, I'm just fucking with you guys. Actually, Vince Garanda was a very popular bodybuilder from the 1940s, 1950s, 1960s, um, back before steroids really got extremely advanced and popular. And this man actually used to eat a diet of so he created what they call the steak and eggs diet and he also advocated the steak and eggs diet to other people now this man did die of heart failure at the age of 79 so why did this man die was it because his diet was mainly steak and eggs for so many years what what's going on here? Well, first of all, he died of heart failure, congestive heart failure. And generally this happens when the heart becomes too stiff and cannot pump blood sufficiently. This isn't necessarily a heart attack. Because a heart attack is actually where there's a blockage of the artery. Two big different things, okay? Doing more research into Vince Garanda and the things he recommends and the things that he does, um, this man actually used to take way over the daily limit of calcium through supplements. Um, he said, I was reading that he took six tablets of calcium before bed and then something like three tablets of calcium uh, for lunch and three for breakfast. That's a lot of fucking calcium, and I'm not exactly sure how many milligrams per tablet of calcium he was actually taking, but if the dosages are anything close to what they are now, it's something like 1 to 200 milligrams per tablet, depending on what he's taking. And so let's just put that in perspective. I mean, even 600 milligrams um, per day of supplemental calcium uh, has been shown to be pretty harmful as far as calcification of the arteries and other problems is concerned. We know that magnesium supplementation, on the other hand, actually decreases blood pressure, it causes relaxation of the body, and it helps to offset some of the harmful effects of calcium, including calcification of the arteries and calcification of the body in general. Um, so, what I'm trying to get at here is he probably died not from the steak and eggs diet, but who knows, maybe, but I don't think so. He probably died because he was consuming so much calcium for so long. I mean, you would think by the age of uh, you know 80, if, if it was all the cholesterol and saturated fat he was eating, that he would have died of a heart attack or a blocked artery, especially you know, t at least 20 years before he actually died, like in his 60s or 70s. Um, uh, so what I'm seeing is he probably died from the calcium. The other thing is that he actually added vegetable oils to his protein shakes because he, for some, he, he believed that in order to digest um, protein, fats are actually necessary. So, of course, uh, pouring vegetable oil in, in your protein shakes and drinking that every day, probably not such a great idea, considering the fact that vegetable oils and excessive omega-6 uh, has actually been associated with inflammation and um, heart disease, much more so than saturated fat. But um, there's other things that he'd actually done that also can increase your, your chances of organ disease. So another thing that he did was take iron tablets, all right? He also took liver tablets, but he talked about taking iron because he believed that iron was a, fax, a fat oxidizer. He thought that taking iron tablets was going to burn more fat. And we know that, especially in men, for one, uh, you can't actually excrete iron um, through any other means than donating blood or bloodletting. So eating excessive amounts of supplemental iron 
um, causes iron overload over time, which can result in heart problems primarily, and also problems of the kidney and the liver, vomiting and abdominal pain, and many other problems. Um, and so, yeah, you excrete a little bit during your uh, from sweating, but if you're taking iron supplements and you're also eating a high uh, iron diet, which, by the way, the body um, uh, actually self-regulates um, iron absorption and metabolism if you're consuming it from diet. So if you're eating a lot of red meat, um, that's very different from actually supplementing with iron. Okay, Iron supplements and fortified foods, like white rice is fortified with iron, um, you know, uh, cream of wheat, what else? Uh, cereals and uh, these these fake milk products. You gotta be careful with fortified foods and iron supplements. I made a whole video on that. Um, this causes a lot of problems for many people. So there's that. Um, also, I heard I heard that he smokes a lot, but I mean I know a lot of people that believe that animal foods are the devil are gonna automatically assume it's just the animal protein. But the fact is. Um, the calcium supplements, I mean, come on, we know that um, excessive amounts of calcium, especially without equal parts of magnesium, leads to calcification of the bo of, of different parts of the body. Um, and we also, we know that any kind of mineral imbalance is really bad for you. Um, this guy said that he took calcium supplements because high protein diets can make people Nervous and calcium supplements supposed to offset that somehow. But what I found is anytime I take magnesium supplements, I feel super relaxed and they seem to do a lot of great things, especially as far as calming myself down. And they've been shown to actually improve cardiovascular health uh, markers. Um, and there's studies that actually show calcium supplements uh, can increase calcification. Whereas magnesium supplements actually reverse calcification. So, to me, it sounds like calcium supplements cause this man's uh, death. Um, but then again, I'd also like to know what his diet looked like for the last 20 years of his life. Uh, I don't think that he was still doing the low-carb diet, but you never know. So, really curious about that. Um, and then, of course, we have people like Jack LaLanne, who ate uh, primarily lean meat, uh, fruits, and vegetables. And he lived to be 96 and only died of pneumonia. And if he would have um, maybe taken some raw garlic or gone to the hospital for his pneumonia, he probably would have lived into his hundreds. And that man was full of energy. So, and he ate animal protein, but lean animal protein, so interesting things to think about. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments, and I'll talk to you all next time.